All right, my friends. Uh, I'm I'm actually coming to you a little bit from the future. I filmed the rest of this or some of this video, the next part of this video, actually yesterday, and I want to just talk about. Big Sur had an issue with installation and it happened kind of worldwide. It was a global outage and it happened. So anybody that was trying to download Big Sur had all kinds of issues. And I want to put this kind of in the beginning of the video because it really does show the importance of you and I making sure that we get ourselves prepared and ready for big updates like this. Because if something goes wrong, we don't want to lose everything. And and I do talk about doing backups ahead of any of these kind of upgrades or updates. So really important uh, because I got in a scenario where I didn't realize that it was server based because I was doing this upgrade so early in the game that nobody was talking about it or it wasn't really online yet. And I ended up formatting my computer and luckily I had a time machine backup that I could restore from. Now I didn't need to do that because afterwards we found out that it was something on Apple's end, server based. Um, so I really should have just been patient. So patience is a huge key here. And the other thing that I encourage you guys to do, especially if you're new to upgrading uh, and you're not overly comfortable with computers or overly comfortable with just doing things like updates, um, wait a couple days after an update comes out right? You'll see it. Wait a couple days because if there is any issues, those of us that try to upgrade fast are going to be the ones that find out about that issue and Apple will fix it or pull it. But if it's two or three days later, you're good. You're usually, you're fine. So just be aware. And now we're going to get back to the video. It's kind of taking place over, over two days instead of one. All right, here you go. All right, my friends, today is kind of an exciting day for a lot of us and maybe a scary day for some of the rest of you because today is when Mac Big Sur or Mac OS 11 is, is being launched. Now it's not launched yet for me, but it is after one o'clock. So I expect that it could come out any time. And of course I'm hitting that little kind of refresh button to figure out where it is and how I can get it. And this video, really simple, is really for those of you that are kind of new to Mac, and maybe this is your very first Mac OS update. So I'm gonna walk through it, the whole process, as I do this machine right here. So basically where to go to see the update, where to find the update, and you'll be able to see the process of me doing the update. And I'll give you some tidbits as to how long it's taking, or should take, and uh, just some steps to make sure Hopefully it goes through successful. So let's let's do that right now. All right, so I'm still waiting, so the install's not happening, but as soon as it does, you guys will know. First thing, very first thing, to get your computer ready. So this is a really major update. So this is Mac OS 11 and it's been Mac OS 10 point something for ever, let's just say. And because of that, this is an exceptionally important one for you and I to make sure that we have our stuff protected. Now, a few things before you do the update. Number one, this is a big one. If there are any pieces of software that you use that are like non Apple created software, you want to make sure you touch base with the companies that make that software to validate that there are no compatibility issues. Because if there are, you may want to hold off on this update because the last thing you want is that this really important piece of software that you use, you get the update, it all works great. You go to run the software and it says, no, 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 this doesn't, this doesn't work. Stay tuned for an update. When's that update coming? Who knows? Days, weeks, months, years, never. So you want to make sure of that. That's that's number one. Uh, number two, and probably the big one and probably the most important for a lot of us is make sure you do some form of backup for your computer before you start this process. So if you have a time machine backup, which just needs an external hard drive plugged in, do it. If it happened last night, hit that backup button right now before you start the update so that it's as current as possible or maybe you just have another backup software that you use. That's cool as well. Just make sure that it's done because if something does go wrong, 
which it shouldn't, but it could. You know, Murphy's Law says that when we expect something to happen, it won't. And when we don't expect it, it will. Something like that. I'm not really sure what Murphy's Law says. But if we're like, oh no, it should be fine. I've never had an issue before. I'm not going to back it up. It's going to fail, you know. So make sure you do some form of backup. I use Time Machine, been very happy with it. It's something that runs all the time. Again, just needs an external. And I'll show you guys real quick just where to do that backup, how to find it, just to make sure that it's done. And uh, I'll do that right before the update needs to happen. But right now, we're waiting. So stay with me. We're just gonna wait for it to show up. Okay guys, I think it's here. So a few things, like I said, you wanna get an external hard drive if you don't have this already, plug it in. Now, bonus is if you've never used this and you wanna make sure this is a drive that there's either nothing on it or that what's on it can be erased. That's important. So when you're gonna plug it in, if you've never done this before, Time Machine should automatically come up and ask if you'd like to use this as a backup machine or a backup hard drive. And you're simply gonna say yes. And then you're gonna go do something because this could take hours, hours, depending on how much stuff you have. If you don't have a lot, it could be fairly quick. If you have a lot of stuff, it could even be overnight, which means you're gonna be doing this install tomorrow. But if you have it already and you wanna make sure that it's all ready, all you're gonna do is go right up to the top and you may see this little thing. It looks like a clock that kind of swirls backwards. And if you tap on that, you'll actually see something that says backup now. And this is what you're gonna to wanna to do. You see this machine here, July 16th. I should do a backup, but I don't use this computer very often. Now, if it's not showing up there, which it may not, and that's fine, you're gonna go down to system preferences. And once you open up this, you're gonna see time machine. And once you click on time machine, you'll have that option there to show time machine in the menu bar. If you click on that, you're gonna get this icon, which I like. I think we should all have that. And then you're gonna go back up here once it's there and you can say back up now. This is also where you can go select a disc. If by chance you had a hard drive and instead of saying yes to using this as a time machine drive, you said no, you could be like, oops, go in here, select it. It'll ask what drive to use. You can go pick it and, and off it goes. But this is really, really important. This is a step that you and I shouldn't ignore because if something goes wrong, we could lose everything because we are doing a major, major update. Think of it like a car motor. We would never take out an old car motor and then kind of just throw it away and put a new one in in hopes that everything works. We keep that other one around just in case the new one fails, because if the new one fails, we can put the old one back in, and that's why we're, we're doing this backup. So, now, once that's all done, we're gonna go back to the system process, system preference, sorry, and you should see this area here called software update. This looks like a little gear, very similar to the gear that we chose at the bottom, and once we click on that, it's gonna come up and say, checking for update. Now it should say, and it may come up and say, it, there's nothing there. This is where you just kind of wait, because you'll see it says 11.50 for me, and it's gonna check again. There it is, see that? Big Sur, for me, 12.18 gigs. So we're gonna hit this upgrade now button. This is a big upgrade, and we're gonna, we're gonna let it go, and you're gonna see it say, downloading. So you guys don't need to stare at me while this is happening. So we're gonna let it download in the background, which is good, and then we'll continue this once it's ready to go through its install process. All right, coming up. All right, so it has downloaded, and this is kind of day two because there were some issues, and of course this did take a long time. If you ever try to download, especially on day one, sometimes even day two, just be prepared for longer than usual waits because those of us that are super excited about updating have all tried to do this update and downloads, of course, are, are sluggish. So, um, number one, when it's downloading, you, ha you really have no idea how long this is gonna take. We have a really good fast internet here. So my download took, I wanna say, in and around 45-ish minutes to download this. This can fluctuate up and down depending on how busy the server is and of course how fast your internet is. So don't just sit and stare at it because there are some times where it just kind of pauses and hangs and that's, that's okay because it's doing validations of the file and things like that. And you and I have a tendency when 
we notice something not moving that we panic and panic is bad best thing to do is walk away let it do its thing come back i'd come back in like an hour or so if you come back and it's close to finish there's a big pause at the end when it looks like it's downloaded everything but it it just looks like it's hanging but it's literally just validating the file so again i'd walk away for another 10 15 minutes come back and see if it's good and what you should end up with is a screen that actually looks like this it should pop up right on your screen mac os big sur to set up the installation click continue so we're actually going to do that right now so we're going to hit continue right here and you'll see you can read this if you want it's all about your your agreements and things like that but if you disagree you don't get it and if you agree you do so we want it, so we have to agree. All right, so I have read and agreed, yep. Now, for most of us, we probably only have one drive. And this is the drive we're gonna click on to, actually, you don't even need to click on it. You may have to click on it if you have multiple drives, but one drive, hit continue. It's gonna say, your computer is not connected for me to a power source. That's okay, I'm at 100% power. It does recommend that you plug it in. And the reason for this is that if it starts to install and your computer runs out of battery, bad things can happen. So if you have power or you're not at 100% or you're down around like 50 and you have an older computer, I'd plug it in because we really have no idea how long this is going to take. And again, on an older computer, this install may take even longer. So it's going to chug through a lot more battery power. I'm going to hit continue anyway, but please plug it in. I would. And we're going to have to put it in our admin password. So I'm going to put that in right now. You guys don't get to see that. And this is your computer login. So your administrative password. Some of us may not even have one. If you don't, then I would just leave it empty, hit return. You should be good. I do recommend please put one on there because it is your gatekeeper. It is what protects the contents of this computer. So make sure you have one. And I'm going to hit OK. And you'll actually see... This is gonna come up now and say about 15 minutes remaining. And most of us are like, cool, 15 minutes, that's pretty fast. No, no, that's 15 minutes that it takes to get the file ready to actually do the shutdown and install. So this part here, now, now you can kind of just hang out. Just kind of hang out. You don't need to hang here and, and do anything overly, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing you and I can do, so. We're going we're gonna to come back in about uh, 14, 15 minutes. It may be faster, it may be longer, depending again on how old and how fast your computer is. All right, stay tuned. We'll keep going. All right, guys, so it has finished. Now, it came up at the beginning saying about 14, 15 minutes, but it was really only about five minutes. And you'll see it's going to automatically restart here because it's, it's ready. Now, the only thing you can do here is cancel it. And it's gonna shut everything down, which looks good. It says closing applications, preparing to restart. And then after this happens, this is the long wait. This is the one that you and I are, are you know what? Go watch, go watch a sitcom, go watch a movie, go watch, go watch some more of my YouTube videos. That's, that's a good idea, do that. Because this part here can take a while. So it's gotta shut down all your apps. It's going to restart and you guys will see it actually start the install process. See all the apps closing right here. And hopefully I have a lot of apps running in the background. So you guys may not have this. There she goes. It may be faster or slower for you guys as well. So timing, you know, just be aware timing. It's, it's, it's an approximation what you guys see here. Of course, I'm speeding up through a lot of the process. Usually the numbers that they give you are on the maximum side, unless your computer is pretty pretty well, I say pretty old but really if it's like five six years old or longer anything older than that you may not even be able to run this so and again at this point in time don't freak out when it looks like uh the screen's gone black it seems to have gone black for way too long and you're like uh something's broken start hitting buttons start no no just now is a good time to walk away because a watch pot never boils right so this part always freaks me out a little bit there it goes so now we just hang tight you and i will come back uh when when the next step happens and i'll give you guys an estimate of how long it took at least for my computer all right guys we're down to the final minute and 
It has taken my computer almost exactly 30 minutes. We're at 29 minutes right now. It's saying a minute left. So for me, the, the estimate was actually really quite accurate. But again, realize that this is a brand new 2019 uh, i9 MacBook Pro 16 inch, and it's pretty souped up, so it's, it's fast. So if you have an older machine, especially if you get back to a computer, for instance, that doesn't have a solid state drive in it, then just realize that this could definitely take longer. So come back in once in a while, just check on it, go back, do something else, check on it again. You know, it could take could take an hour, it could take two hours. We don't we don't know. We're just gonna wait for the final final boot here and then we'll we'll show you what's going on. All right, here we are. We're we're back up and running. Looks great. I'm gonna see if I can start the screen capture, which it looks like I can. There it is. All all looking fantastic, it looks like. We're gonna boot in here. And it looks like some of my software is probably or possibly starting to update. So this is something, this is kind of the, the next step. And this is the final step. So Big Sur has been updated. One of the things to realize, and it's an important one, is that, and, and one of the reasons that I think you shouldn't just be staring at it, especially if you're new to this and you're a little timid because um, it has to restart a couple of times because it will install a component, restart, validate what kind of graphics card you have, restart, check what kind of resolution your computer's capable of, restart. So there's a lot of little restarts and every one of those there's a little pause and a lot of us are like, oh, what's happening? So it's kind of a walk away. Once you it restarts the first time, this literally should be the screen you come back to when it's done. How long does it take? It took me about a half an hour. Will it take you longer? Possibly, just let it do its job. Now, if it's a day later, then that's a concern, right? But the next thing and probably the final thing that you and I want to do really is kind of go in here to our app store. You'll see the app store here and the app store is just a little one down here that looks like the little blue A or if you don't have it there, if you go up to the little Apple, there's an app store right there so you can get it there as well. But all we want to do is go to where it says updates. And again, we have to check because this is saying no updates, right? But let it sit here and this could take two minutes or it could take 30 seconds or take five minutes, but let it check because it needs to do that. And then we're going to go down to our system preferences one last time. Oh, it doesn't have an update right now. But I know on my iMac it did because there are programs, just so you guys know, that need updates. Pages, Numbers, Keynote, uh, Final Cut, Motion, Compressor, uh, GarageBand, iMovie. If you use any of those, they will have updates available. I am waiting for the updates to show up on this machine. So if you have some issues like this where it's like, you don't have the newest current version. And remember I talked about it at the beginning, making sure that your third party software has all these updates. This is the reason, because they may not function. So we want to make sure, I'm going to wait for these updates to come through the App Store. My guess is that they'll show up hopefully soon. Once they do, I'm going to install them and, and we're good to go. All right, guys, hopefully, you know, I know for a lot of you, this is uh, a scary thing to do an update. It's a really big cosmetic update. I will do a video down the road on some features of it, as well as some tutorial videos on how to use this, because I know that with Apple not having any of their in-store training, um, which they used to, this could be something that is really important for a lot of you guys. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you there. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit, hit that notification bell. If you have little things or anything in regards to Mac that you'd like some possible training on, let me know. Let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll see if I can make that video for you. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. I'm out. Later. Enjoy Big Sur.